Hi guys, I'm Mustafa Nutsulakis, and th this episode of Study Medicine, we're going to talk about uh, oncology. I'm going to refer to what books I read and what I think is better for your exam. Um, what uh, I'm going to share with you my notes, and I'm going to talk about them a bit. And the third thing is like I'm going to say some general tips about the exam, how it was, and uh, what to expect. So stay tuned. Hi, um, before we talk about the books, I'm going to say just a few things about the importance of oncology as a student. Um, look, like the thing is, whatever you learn in oncology, you're going to use it. Definitely in the state exams. Definitely. Internal medicine and surgery, the treatment or, in, that you learn in oncology, uh, you're going to use it for surgery and everything else you're using for internal. For example, there is a part, a, a hemato-oncology in internal medicine, exactly the same there is in a... In, the, in oncology for this exam. So whatever you learn, whatever notes you make, wherever you study from, whatever you learn, you're going to use it for state exams. So this is very important in general. The second thing that's important is that, okay, you're not going to see so often uh, patients with uh, cancer and you have to make the staging and stuff. This is uh, the oncology um, specialist uh, job. But the thing is, Sometimes you need to know adverse effects of drugs, you need to know what else can cause, what you will find in this patient with lung cancer that is treated with this, or the paraneoplastic sy syndromes, this is very important stuff, and you need to know them. So like, don't, don't try to learn the different the staging for every small, there are specific cancer you have to know, or the specific treatment, learn the general idea, and what you think you're going to need as a doctor. And except of that, what are you going to need for state exams? So done with it. Now let's talk about books. The, you can find many books about oncology in general. I, because I don't, I don't find a specific interest to become an oncologist in the future, I prefer to study from some normal books which are not so easy at all. But they were smaller than the big ones that you can find around. This one is Horizon of Manual of Oncology, which is referring more to, um, to residents than students. And then there is Oxford, the pocket book of uh, Oncology, which is also good. Let's talk about the uh, Oxford. I studied also from Oxford because uh, I could find it in PDF. Uh, and uh, what, what's a good thing about Oxford is that uh, it's uh, spoken. It has bullet points. It's like says, and um, this cancer is this, 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 this. And the a surprising thing is, if you are in Nazareth University, is that the it goes it goes almost according to the syllabus. So that's really good. This is uh, really helpful for you. If you're not a master university, then okay, you don't. The, but but this is the thing. The most it's like points. Um, now about this one, the Harrison Manual of Oncology. Harrison Manual of Oncology, which I read also, you know, if, uh, has more things, more information than uh, Oxford, but it's a bit more professional because like it will it will talk about treatment and. Um, it will say that we did this study and we proved that this treatment is useful for this. We did this study, which you know is is good to know as a resident doctor, but um, as a student, I don't think it's so important for you. So I would recommend more Oxford, even if I had this. But um, you you can find that also in the in the li you can find I don't know if you can find in the library this one either the Oxford but you can buy them. And uh, this bigger, this bigger has like normal text, doesn't have bullet points. This is about the books. Another thing that I thought about about it, and uh, I think it's a good idea, is that if you're um, if you're planning to study a big book for the state exams, then maybe it's a good idea to buy one of those and study oncology from there. Maybe maybe it's a it's a good idea. I thought about it. I, I didn't do I didn't do that. I, I didn't thought about it before. But I think it's a good idea because you cover the knowledge for internal medicine, you cover it now with oncology. You can do that with every subject in the fifth year. I don't know if you will be successful, but I think it's a good idea. So we go, okay, done with the, the books. Now we go to my notes. I made notes. I used uh, both uh, Harrison and Oxford and more sources around the internet. Um, and uh, I think they're good. My, my, you know, the way I'm writing is okay. You can read it, I think. And I have many schemes uh, made, uh, found in the internet. Now, this is about my notes. You can find the link 
here in a Google Drive and you can get them and print them, whatever you do, want to do. And now another thing that is a problem. In my notes, okay, I did very analytically. I wrote many stuff, many pages, and it's, okay, it's a, it's a lot of notes, and like, you don't need to learn everything. But specifically, I want to talk about treatment. Um, treatment in cancer um, is... Um, it's very, it's different according to the stage. Okay, what I want to tell you is like, because I wrote that in stage one, you do this treatment, in stage two, you do this treatment, you don't need to learn that. What you need to learn is the rationale behind it. For example, if it's localized, then you do surgery, or if it's stage two, or if it's prone to the node, maybe radiotherapy. And if it is metastasized, then, you know, you need to do more like chemotherapy. You need to learn for oncology the rationale of the treatment, but not the exact treatment. If you want to have it there, you can learn it. And except of that, the reason why you cannot learn it is that's because it's different in every hospital. What you'll find in the in one book, you'll be different uh, in the guideline of one hospital in Bukhonica, for example, you find a different guideline in a hospital in Germany or a hospital in USA. So I did like a kind of uh, I found like a picture, a guy, an algorithm of the treatment, and I wrote it. But that doesn't mean that applies everywhere. So. Don't stick so much to the treatment. And, and the most important thing, because some people are thinking that the oncology is like pathology. Pathology? No. Like learn only the basics, that there is a diffuse cancer of the stomach and intestinal type of cancer of the stomach. And that's it. Don't learn specific signaling cells and things like that. You don't need all these things. You need the basic thing from pathology. Uh, then the most important thing for the exam is, uh, you know, to learn the symptoms, the signs, uh, how to diagnose it, paraneoplastic syndrome, you know, clinical stuff. Uh, for example, to, answer, to make you understand what I mean, clinical stuff is, they gonna, they might ask you, um, which is a, a radiation therapy, I had this question about palliative care. What, uh, how we're using the radiation therapy for palliative care? And if the answer was, and I didn't know that actually, is that you, you use it for the bone, uh, when there is metastasis on the bone, it's very painful, it's 10 out of 10 in the clinic, in the, um, in the spectrum of the pain, when you have one to 10, uh, metastasis to the bones is uh, uh, 10 out of 10. And colic of, uh, intestinal colic, no, intestinal uh, ureter is nine out of 10. So uh, he asked me that, and if we use radiation to treat this pain, um, I don't know if it's treated 100%, but definitely it's reduced, and this is how it's used for palliative care. And these things you need to know. Like another question, um, that I've been asked is like, what is the worst complication of uh, chemotherapy? Um, and the answer is uh, the febrile neutropenia, which is um, devastating um, if it happens. Uh, okay, that's it about the, the books and my notes and the general tips. Um, it's following a story from a college exam. I really want to say this story. I felt great about it. Stay tuned. So thank you very much for watching this video. You can subscribe if you want. Every it's coming a video every every Sunday. Uh, you can also find me in, in Facebook. You will find a link in the description, um, and you can like the page if you want. I'm putting my videos there, and I'm putting notes if I have something new uh, or some tips. And then you can like or dislike the video. Comment below for something. Send up me a message if you need anything. Um, specifically from notes to whatever I have I can give you if you want to send me a message and find me personally. Um, good luck with your exam, don't worry, it's not an extremely difficult exam but it's a lot, a lot to learn. Very interesting subject, I like very much. Uh, I devote this video to Lily and have a nice time. Goodbye.